we're recording. This is uh this is surreal. And uh hopefully you're doing well. This is this is a this is bizarre because I feel like I've not been in this position and just kind of like recorded a video for your guys' faces for like a good minute. Like I've released obviously two videos in the uh, the last couple of weeks, uh, but nothing like substantially filled with what is going on and all this kind of stuff. And we have quite a few things to talk about because one, I'm back to five days streaming now, like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, so weekdays. And for those that don't know, I come from Twitch to YouTube, not YouTube to Twitch. So like my main core is over there and YouTube's my playground and I'm trying and I'm battling with where we wanna be within the content space on YouTube right here. I've fought out with like different types of genres, different games, different playthroughs. A lot of these were like, I don't care what you watch, like what you release, I'm gonna watch it anyway. We're here for you. Uh, and I understand people want to see some information regarding a game, a tutorial, and people just want to see that. Some people just want to see a certain game's let's play. So it's there's a lot of things that goes on. But with us content creators, what we've got to think about is how and what do we do to go forward where we can do this constantly full time. I'm in a very, very lucky position that I came from Twitch to YouTube. So like... I can solely rely on you uh, on Twitch for my income and all this kind of stuff. Well, YouTube's my playground and I've got so many things lined up. I'm trying to find out what my brand here is on YouTube. And for when you guys go, okay, there's a game releasing, you'll instantly think Bits will do a video on it. Like that's what I'm trying to discover and find right now and find that little niche of that little corner of YouTube which is mine and uh it's an ongoing battle but i think we're getting there i think we're getting there with my ideas which are coming up pretty soon uh, because we have a lot to discuss a lot to talk about and uh yeah and the first thing you might have noticed is i got new merch um it's a small little plug uh but yeah keep smiling merch um i've been fighting this now for like the last two months trying to figure out what i want uh and all this kind of stuff i know a lot of people don't like typical gamer merch Hence the reason we've just gone simple, clean, and just something you can wear every day. Like, we've got t-shirts, uh, jumpers slash sweaters. Um, we've also got uh, zip-up hoodies and all this kind of stuff. It'll be all in the description below. So if you want to check out that and you want to spread the word of keep smiling, definitely check it out. And uh, yeah, you might want to gift it as a birthday present. Who knows? <laughs> or a gift. <laughs> um, but yeah, regarding content-wise, we have some... Uh, I've been backlogging Satisfactory. Don't worry. We'll get to that right now so as you can tell some things have changed in this location here on the actual factory world the last thing you guys saw the last official satisfactory video you received was the big golden shaft bringing in all the caterium around the world well you might have noticed this little building here this is going to be a dedicated video i want to get to that pretty soon as well and then we've got this section up here which is making the caterium and some wire and all this kind of stuff we'll also get that into a video and then if we head over to the water bottling facility, which, yes, I did stay in a video before. Bits, I thought you was not doing it any more water bottling. Well, that might not be <laughs> entirely true because some things have happened and occurred where I'm now building my end game mega base, which requires me because there's, there's no water around there, which I can use. Well, there is, but it's not enough for my builds. So let's go back over here and you might have noticed we've added a little bit of an extension to the highway here and what this is producing this is producing um plastic uh, it's consuming oil uh, it's also importing um high-speed connectors it's also importing the uh, aluminium alclad sheets to produce batteries for a drone not just one, but a small number. And all these are going to be doing is sending bottled water from here to the Red Forest. 
Um, because if you notice, this is now where my end game mega factory is going to be. It's where all of our items are going to start working towards. It means we can start removing some things we don't need and start utilizing them resources. Bring everything to one central location, which is going to be the Red Forest. We're still going to have the highway going around, bringing our logistics in. We're going to be utilizing drones to transport up into this location. And maybe we'll have one or two train lines. Uh, coming up here because I don't want to use the massive cliffs as a massive ramp. I feel like it's just not part of my aesthetic building style kind of thing. Um, but as you can tell, like we've got some, you know, some, some substantial work going on here. Like this whole down here, this whole section, what's going on here, and this is only like twenty percent of what's going to be getting built here. Because what we're doing here is we're getting oil, we're breaking that down into heavy oil residue, which is going to make resin. That resin is going to make rubber, which is there. The heavy oil uh, residue is going into these uh, blenders, which is making fuel. Then that rubber from here is going to go into more refineries, which is going to get mixed with fuel to make plastic. And then we're going to get that plastic that's being made from that to go into more refineries with rubber and fuel. No, sorry, with plastic and fuel to make rubber. And then we're going to get that rubber to mix with fuel to make plastic. We're recycling plastic and rubber to make a large amount of rubber, uh, plastic so we can make mass amounts of batteries for drones. So that's the plan we're doing here. And this section up here is where the water's coming in. So as you can tell, we have, uh, how many? 16 drone stations right here. Um, and they're gonna be bringing in uh, 780 uh, water um, per drop. Well, actually it'd be more than that, but we're aiming for 780 more. That's all gonna go into pipes into this little thing I've kind of built. Literally, I built this today on stream. Um, so remember, if you want to make sure I catch up to date with whatever I'm doing regarding Satisfactory or just, just to catch up and wonder where our video is, just check my live stream. You'll get an answer because uh, you'll see where we are. Um, but the reason I'm doing all of this is because I want to start backlogging a little bit of Satisfactory stuff so then I can start releasing it in a steady flow because you might have noticed the Satisfactory videos that might have been one release this month two release this month maybe three then one then maybe none and i'm trying to find that balance hence the reason i talked about finding that balance as a content creator here on youtube so i'm f i'm making mini projects and i'm preparing and testing some things ready for 1.0 because 1.0 is coming out this year and i want to make sure that you guys are filled in with twitch vods so you can watch every single minute of the stream you guys get to see some clips and highlights within the YouTube shorts. You can see some tips and, uh, not tips, some guides within that as well. You'll also be able to, you'll also be able to see the live stream on YouTube as well. Right now, I was live streaming on YouTube and Twitch at the same time. But right now I'm in a beta of something called Twitch Enhanced Broadcasting, which doesn't allow multi-streaming right now, but it allows me to stream in 1440p and 4K, which is currently in beta, but that's not currently active yet because we're testing the OBS software. Uh, with OBS and Twitch itself. Uh, but also I was having DMCA issues um, on the live streams, which I need to figure out. For example, I was humming a song on live stream and YouTube was like, no, bad bits. You cannot sing that because it's classed as a cover. And because it's classed as a cover, we're gonna limit your income on this video. That was a problem, as you can tell. So I'm currently trying to figure out how we can do that. And I'm currently speaking with YouTube if what my boundaries are and all this kind of stuff. And it's uh, it's been annoying because I'm a very energetic, sometimes cozy, sometimes chaotic, again, sometimes and cozy <laughs> and weird. <laughs> um, uh, that's what we're doing. That's the plan. Uh, and I always want to keep you guys informed of what's going on. And yes, I'm, I'm doing good. Like I'm looking after myself. I'm being healthy. I've been losing weight. I've been working out. I'm in a good position. Like I'm, I'm, I'm happy, and I'm keep smiling. <laughs> I'm always smiling. But yeah, things are good. Uh, hopefully, you guys are doing healthy as well. Uh, but also some upcoming news as well. We have finally got the announcement for Foundry, uh, which is another automation game, and I think it's the perfect time for them to release it, which is going to be May second. Um, so let's pull up the trailer real quick. So before we quickly get into this. Uh, Foundry, if you've not seen it, I have done a couple of videos on it in the past, uh, and it's an, a factory automation game. It's a little bit different. It has a different art style and everything, but it is a first-person game. It is multiplayer. Uh, but without further ado, let's just jump into this trailer uh, so you guys can see what it might be if you've never seen it. So let's play. Peggy 3.
Well, there you go. So I'm extremely looking forward to this. And a lot of you, if you are a old school Minecraft tech it or a Technic mod pack player, you are going to love this. And for those that have never got into or never done that, um, I think you should really give this a go. Please do not sleep on this game. It's going to be insane. And I've been following it. I've been, I've had the game now on itch.io for what two years it's something like that i've had it i've had it on i've had it there for like two years but i've played it a couple of times i played it when it was in early access beginning of this year i played it last year and the year before that just following the development and what they're doing they are doing in strides and doing it very very well i don't usually say this a lot about certain games but the last time i felt this hyped about a game was when satisfactory got announced and i'm looking forward to seeing where this is going to take us the art style might not be for everybody but you have to look past that if you're not into voxel based games it is a voxel based world it means you can go mining you can dig your factories below think of tectonic how you can dig through your you know your rocks and all this kind of stuff um and there's drones there's vehicles there's a lot of stuff you can do and i want to dig deep into this game when it comes out i'm gonna try and get in contact with paradox to see if they want to work together and all this kind of good stuff but um yeah it comes out may 2nd uh they, obviously this is not sponsored but if you want to wish list it i'll put the link in the description uh, for you to check it out um but I, I i highly recommend you do not sleep on this game uh it's gonna be a good time it's gonna be a good vibe and uh yeah as i said it's gonna be a, a good thing and i want to do a lot of content on this and i feel like it is the perfect time for them to release it as well because may 2nd um you know, we've got quite a few months because I know a lot of you here are satisfactory nerds and a lot of you are waiting because I did put a um, little poll up um, in the YouTube community section on YouTube here, which is, I'll put a screenshot here. Where's my head going? There, I'll put it here. Here's the thing. And because um, I'm curious about since 1.0 has been released, um, what's everybody's thoughts? Are you staying away from it? Are you still playing it? Are you just backing up entirely? And all that kind of good stuff. So I, I like to get a little bit of feedback and all this kind of stuff. So let me know in the comments as well, what's your plans? Are you going to be staying away? And I think this is a very, very good filler until then. Um, I think a lot of hours, I want to do a lot of content on this. It's definitely going to be a new series I want to look at. Um, and I'm looking at doing maybe Hydronia as well. Uh, it's not fully confirmed. Um, there is a new DLC which is coming out in April, which is a massive DLC they've added. I've been speaking with Max, the head developer of it, and he has given me early access to it, but I can't show any content until April 2nd. Uh, I actually grabbed that today, so I'm not even touching it myself yet, so I couldn't even tell you if I knew what was in it. Um, but um, yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a bit of an update. What is going on? Where are we going to be heading? The second channel um, is getting sorted as well. Like it all started like a few months ago where I was like, was it two months? ago a month and a half ago where i was a little uh, i got i was ill for like a week and a half uh and then i come back and then i went back to stream five days a week and i've just not found the the route because saturdays and sundays is i reserve for myself content comes last on the saturdays and sundays they're my my weekends um but if i if i'm not doing anything i'll work on content monday tuesday wednesday thursday fridays is my day to work content comes first before any other irl uh, you know priorities and then saturdays and sundays are my irl priorities but um if anybody's gonna be at insomnia as well this week i've been invited by a company down there uh, to be their featured content creator um so if you want to uh come down to insomnia or if you go in i'll be there just look for this beanie i'll i'll probably have this on yeah just give me a wave i don't bite uh, and come and say hi uh, especially if you're in the uk insomnia's in the uk by the way it's in birmingham birmingham but anyway, guys, much love. I just want to give you a bit of an update and take care of yourself. Uh, I've got some videos coming soon. I've got one with Satisfactory coming soon. And and I've got a little, little, little secret to tell you. Little secret. Uh, I've been in contact with Snut. We're always in contact with each other. I don't know how I've been in contact. But me and Snut had a good little call the other day. We went for like two hours or something. And there's been something I've wanted and he's got it me. All right, it's not 1.0. Don't worry, don't panic. He's actually got me the very first release of Satisfactory right from day one, like way back then. So I'm going to play it and I'm going to bring some friends along, but we're not going to do that until later this year. So it should be a fun time. I've invited my friend Total Eclipse and I've invited my friend I'm Kibitz and we're going to have a little riot and play a little play on there. 
and just have a little trip down memory lane for all of you. So yeah, I'll leave you on that little hanger. So keep smiling and I'll see you in another video.